Hi, good morning. My name is Uzama Dozier. I'm the CEO of Diamond Bank. I really, really wanted to be at this summit. Um, it's, it's a very important um, summit as far as I'm concerned. And it's, as they say, data is the next um, basis of competition in the world. Uh, so um, that's one I wanted to participate in. But thank, thanks to digital, um, I can still say a few words and I hope this is going to be tra um, transmitted. Uh, my topic of discussion for the next 10 to 15 minutes is what does a CEO want from data science? or data, absolutely nothing as far as I'm concerned, right? I think what the CEO wants is to be able to make the right decision um, from a customer perspective, uh, from a time perspective, and also from a resource, resource perspective. And so what do I mean? How do I make sure I make the right decisions on customer products or customer service? How do I make sure I make the right decision in terms of how much I'm allocating to resources to provide uh, services for people in my organization or my customers? How do we make the right decision based on macroeconomic and external um, sources? So making decisions requires information. Making good decisions means you need very good information. And what is good information? What is high quality information? What is fast high quality information? Fast, high-quality information is information that has breadth, depth, and, of course, the speed of which you get it. Of course, to get very, in, in the good old days, to get very good, high-quality information meant that it would take some time to so speed it out of it. So there was always a balance between high-quality and speed. But today, you can have it all. Today, you can have high-quality and you can have speed of information. And the faster this, this information, the faster the decision. And that's what CEOs want. How do we make very good decisions? And how is information derived? Data. So data, information, decision making. So let's talk about it from a Diamond Bank perspective. And I think the best way to illustrate this is, let's go back in time. So 20 years ago, Cash and information moved around physically. And so if a customer of Diamond Bank wanted to do a transaction, he had to physically come to the branch. He had to physically either give cash or write an instrument for, him to, for, the, for us to consummate the transaction. So it meant that if we wanted to do 100,000 transactions, 100,000 people had to actually come into Diamond Bank. And so it meant that had to be processed 100,000 times. For us to take a decision, information had to move from physically file from desk to desk. So if there was a customer application for a loan, um, it had to physically go through files. So imagine if we had a, if we were trying to do retail in that time where you had an application for 200,000 um, credit cards, um, it would be you would have to actually hire an army of people um, to um, to do that. And most of this activities were actually lost because they were physical. Uh, most of customer transactions were cash-based. So it meant that we didn't know what our customers were doing with cash. They just came into the bank, wrote a check, collected the cash, and off they went. And so we couldn't, we had no idea of who, the customer, or who our customers really were and what they were actually doing. And so we couldn't profile, um, profile them. And so the for us to get information on our customers required a lot of work. And so the quality of information that we had then was not as good as we have today. So today, most of our transactions for my customers are actually electronic. 80 to 90% of our customers do their transactions electronically, either make a payment through the ATM our favorite app, mobile app, electronic banking, or even now, USSD. But the beauty about all of that is that it all captures high-quality data, fast. Most information that is moved around internally is data. So we have a paperless environment. So it means that um, there's velocity of data moving around the organization. So in actual fact, we're trying to create this digital environment to enable us capture data 
so we can use it to make uh, create better information for decision uh, for this for decision making. So we've gotten all this data. We have a, we have a better idea of what our customers customers are doing, but we also need people to manipulate that information, to write algorithms for um, for that, so that it can help us predict what our customers want, profile our customers better, see patterns and changes in customer in customer behaviors, so we can now begin to change our products, enhance our products, allocate resources um, to um, other areas that are more important or would benefit our customers much, uh, much better. So to conclude, data is very important, but also the utilization of data is very key. And it's data scientists and people who know how to read, interpret, and see insights into data that is key. Um, 20 years ago, accountants were important, but accountants were useful for looking at historical information. Today, we want to predict, we want to meet our customers at the, at the point of need. And to do that, we must have an idea of what they've done in the past, what they're doing today, and what they will do tomorrow based on the information that we have of them. And for us to be able to predict our customers' requirements very, very quickly, we need to do it in an in a, in a, in a environment that enables us to do that, a, dig, a data-driven digital environment, which is what um, most organizations are going to. And in the end, what really um, do we achieve? I think we achieve time savings, time savings for our customers. 20 years ago, customers had to walk into, had to freeze, pause their life to go to a bank. Today, they do it without even thinking about it. And in doing that way, they're actually giving us more data, more information to continuously um, help them. From a process perspective, we're now beginning to, we also need data scientists to help us even begin to write programs for us to um, predict what customers are going to, uh, our customers are we are going to do. And that way, we're letting machines do work at half the cost, twice the speed, and infinitely more accurate, and allowing us humans um, spend our time thinking of the next, building the next, uh, next big, big thing. And so it's, this is the, the new normal. Um, I think whether you're a large organization or a mom and pop store you're just starting, you're going to need a lot of data to be competitive and for your business um, to be so, uh, sustainable. So just to wrap it up, just like I started, why does a CEO uh, need a data scientist? He needs a data scientist so he can make the right decisions. And it's organizations that make the right decisions all the time are the ones that are going to win in the end. Thank you very much and I hope you have a successful summit. Diamond, your bank.